Okay, so back on the stage, um, Water Lily and Tensor, you are just belting through number after number, uh, and you know, pausing for uh, Tensor to like, like get drinks from the audience, uh, and, and like you know, getting passed from the bar. Um, and there's actually a pretty pretty robust system here where anything that like comes from the bar comes sealed. So even though it's like passed through the pa passed through the crowd, it's easy to like check the integrity of the drink. Um, and I feel, it, I feel like Lily uh, Water Lily is going to get a little manipulative here of the mm -hmm. like trying to feed water into this train as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can get that happening. Like you, you can intercept a few orders uh, to get some water in there, and you know they'll they'll down whatever gets handed to them. Exactly. Um, uh, but eventually, uh, like the 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 slur to voc to, to vocal output gets to be near you know, like in uh, incomprehensible. They're singing, mm -hmm. um, and like they seem to be okay with going, but your 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 caretaker instincts are starting to take over that this might not be a good idea for for the two of you to be on this stage. Yeah, no. Basically, they'll be the like the they'll reach reach the arm around and the the squeeze on the shoulder of the you're wonderful. We've stolen this stage. We should probably give it back. Oh, and there's just there's just a, a cry of despair. Uh, but once you sort of assert yourself, uh, it, it is definitely possible to uh, to get off the stage. Okay. Yeah. No, there's the the extricating ourselves as far down and and recognizing that. You know, somebody else will take the attention spot in a little bit, but otherwise, you know, sort of if they if they want to keep moving, fine, excellent. If they want to sit down for a minute, again, they'll sort of just kind of keep an eye. But again, it's not mothering. Like this yeah. is, at this point, she's she's really just pleased to be around Tensor and just trying to keep an eye on her. Uh yeah, then. they uh they they lean on you pretty hard. Um uh and um it's not so much, it, it's not very easy to determine where they want to go. Uh, they just seem to be more of like an anchor around you at this point. Uh, so it really would be up to you to determine where this party heads. Ooh, okay. If it's to the point where we are not vocalizing great and like not really having a goal, um, I think, <laughs> I think, I think uh, Virginia has enough medical expertise <laughs> to just be like, uh, I mean, this has been great, but I know better, and we'll honestly just take them up to her room. Uh, okay, um, you start heading uh, towards the elevator, uh, and actually, this is when uh, the elevator um, hits the ground floor uh, with Fawn in it. Uh, so you 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 actually do cross paths in the elevator lobby. Um, uh, oh, uh, hi. Hi. Fawn has like that look of deer in headlights when she sees you and oh. sees like the, the stage behind you. Oh, um, we're headed upstairs somewhere quiet. You want to come with for a minute? I, um, I was, I was going to go. Um, she's trying very hard to fight back tears at the moment. I'm just, I'm just going to go find a green room for a few minutes. Okay, but you know, like, that whole area is pretty busy. Uh, if you want to be alone, that's fine, but I, it, like, actually pauses for a second. It's like, do you want to? I, I mean, I just, um, need a few, I just need a few moments to collect myself. Okay, um, and we'll basically, like, ha you know, basically be like, okay, I'm in room so-and-so. You know, come knocking if you need. Is um. Uh, so while Water Lily's really good at reading people, yep. Uh, Fawn is probably not in a great state of mind. Uh, she's clearly, obviously, trying very hard not to cry. Her eyes are watering. Um, and she the the reason why she doesn't want to go with you is the fact that she doesn't want you to see her cry. Right, and that's why it's like, okay, um, do I leave her be? Do I do I try and like bring her with? And it's like, you know, putting it right in front of the. You don't have to be alone. I'm I'm not gonna cause you any trouble, but um, like somebody else may be there. Look, I just I've already caused enough trouble tonight. 
I don't want to make it worse for you too. I like looks over at the very drunk tensor and it's like, oh, I think, I think we've managed plenty. It's, it's, come on, just come on, come with me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now we all head upstairs. Yeah. Uh, so you're heading up to, to the, uh, I mean, the guest rooms are, are fairly head up because they're like the nicer, more appo- well-appointed rooms. And um, kind of in the middle of the elevator ride, uh, Tensor's head just sort of jerks up uh, as, you know, a moment of, of uh, uh, more lucidity comes upon them. Uh, and they just sort of like look between Water Lily and Fawn and start saying, I'm, I'm so big. I'm so big. I'm so big. I'm too big for this. I mean, up to you, but I think you're kind of amazing. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm too big for, and and they like sort of like tap their own chest for a bit. Like this is so small. Oh, oh, like the flesh versus spirit thing. No, 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 none of that. None of that. That's not real. Oh, all right. And then then they just sort of like slump that back down, and you guys eventually uh, hit uh, hit your floor. Uh, and you can get into your room, Water Lily. Yeah. So, so basically walks along with uh, with Tensor, and you know is like just tucks tucks them into like one of the one of the beds in the room, and it's like, or at least on top of of like, hey, take a breather. Yeah, they'll 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 slump onto the bed. Yep. Okay. Turns around to, to look at Fawn. Okay, so hi. <laughs> yeah. Um there is a bathroom right next to you, Fawn. Perfect. Yeah, Fawn's just gonna kind of like step into the bathroom and uh it it is very much so the moment that door closes, she just kind of like breaks down. And she is just crying in the shower. Okay. I will we'll- say that if Anthony's room is nearby, he probably hears the drunken commotion of Tensor getting into a bed. And then, because hotel rooms aren't known for being very soundproof, probably crying in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I mean, your your room is right next to, uh, to Water Lily's uh, Liberty Lad. Um, so you do hear kind of the commotion of them coming in uh, to their room. Uh, and you hear three voices, which doesn't sound right. Oh, can't they keep it down? I'll listen to the. I'll listen to the. I'll take the the cup and put it to the the thing because I don't have super hearing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just listen in. Fantastic, I love it. Uh, okay, um, so yeah, that situation kind of simmers for a little bit. Uh, we'll head back to Rant for a moment. Uh, so Rant, you're still at the party, uh, talking it up with these Daedalus League guys. Yep. Um, yeah, and he they come back a little bit later. Like, yeah, we think we may we got we get notice about that uh that interaction you saw. Um, I don't know who he was fighting, but it looks like Sessa's Pax was doing something. Oh, right, that blowhard. Um, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's um that's good to know. I guess that's um. Uh... He, I didn't realize he was cosmic like that, but um, he's been. They keep what he can do under wraps most of the time. We see him occasionally because he does use the curvature of the Earth to get around the planet very quickly. That, while attached to a shitty person, is cool. Um, so that's neat. Uh, do you, so? Do you do this like space thing like all the, like daily, or like how often do you do? Me personally, um, I don't do it as much as I'd like because I'm more of a a people person. I handle a lot of the uh, earth ground based resources for the Daedalus League. Uh, but I mean, we do have a collective. We do talk to each other, and we do rotations when we can to go up to the station. Uh, we're trying to build a, a another station out closer towards Mars, but it is getting problematic to get the money we need to do that do you need help fundraising 
we will never say no. And yeah. we'd be happy to have you help us. I will run a fundraising concert um, as soon as I can get it prepped. Uh, that would be amazing. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, I will let the others know. I mean, we do have, just so you know, just so you know, backing on up, uh, just so you know, the, the Daedalus League, we don't try to step, we're really young, we don't try to step in anyone's cereal, as it were. Um, okay. We're about space exploration and what we can get what we can do with it, what we can get out of it, and what we can learn from it. Um, so we do have some people who sympathize with the Terrigen, and we do have people that sympathize with the Utopia. Um, no, but just so you know, we're not on, we're not in the business of getting in quote-unquote bed with one side or the other. Right. No, I get it. The, the thing is, is that this is exactly what Nova Kind can and should be doing is expanding our horizons and looking beyond this world and saying what amazing things can we create and experience and grasp onto you're not that, wrong that, that may for me at least align with Terras. it doesn't necessarily have to for anyone else but it's still getting us all there doing the great next big thing i'm a thousand percent on board if you need that to be as apolitical as possible fine because yeah. you're pushing the envelope. Uh, yeah, we try. We really, really try. It's very hard because the people who control the purse strings, as it were, are everyone's got uh, an agenda. And it's really, really sad because of that. But yeah, I agree. You, the thing is, is, this should be something that's beyond that sort of like, what can I get out of it? And just it, the experience and the 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 opportunity to grasp at the stars and pull them down to earth and say this is what we are capable of as, as, as a people uh i preach into the choir as it were but i i'll let you know that's actually the biggest problem it is what people can, there are a lot of people who ask the question what can we get out of it what can we take because they a lot of the power players know that space is the next place those are big, bigger sometimes than the Earth itself, and they're going to want places to go, things to do, and there's a lot of stuff out there. I bet. Um, so everyone, somebody's got a finger in a pie to figure out what they can do with the asteroid belt, or Mars, or hell, even uh, uh, parts of Jupiter's moons. I think that's so small thinking. I, I, I get it, because people think small all the time they think you know what can we gain from it but think about sorry i know i'm preaching to the choir but think about the amazing just opportunities we can provide other people and i know that for fun and he looks around shit i think she left but I, I know it wasn't a great experience for my friend but it still for most people would be mind-blowing and just the opportunity to have that and have your thinking shift it's not uncommon. It's not an uncommon thing, but you're absolutely correct. Getting more people to space will give them a better perspective on your place in all of it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and he looks down at his like his watch again. Oh, there's an alert. I gotta, I gotta go deal with this. I'm sorry. Please enjoy yourself as much as you want. Talk to whoever you want. Uh, but it was great to, uh, talking with you, and I will absolutely be in touch. Sounds good. I look forward to it. And he, so he heads off. Uh, what do you want to do after that? I think Rant is immediately like, Fawn is not here, and I feel like shit because of that. Mm -hmm. um, so he will like leave looking for her. Okay, sure. Not a problem. Okay, are you going to uh, like, send her a message, or what are you going to do? Rant sometimes like thinks really old school and mm. doesn't go for the phone first. So he's on his feet going, uh, her room is this one. I should go there first. Okay, got it. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so back at the, uh, the the pair of hotel suites uh, with uh, Water Lily and Liberty Lad. Um, yeah, Water Lily, you have uh, one person in the bathroom, one person semi-conscious on the bed. Uh, and what are you up to? Um... <clears throat> If it looks like, again, Tensor's medically sound, we're going to let Tensor be semi-conscious and 
you know, chilling for a bit and uh, knock on the bathroom door. I would like uh, the bathroom door probably isn't even shut. Cool, cool. Um, so yeah, Thawne, Thawne, um, if there's another name you'd prefer, um, hi? Fawn, Fawn's my name now. Uh, okay, okay. The other person is not there. And that's that's always a choice. Um, but you can call me Virginia if it's not like out in public and everything. That's okay. Um, okay. Hi. Are, are what's happened? Are you okay? Did somebody hurt you? No, no one hurt me. I just, I'm really not used to this. What? And I just, I feel like I just embarrassed myself and I caused problems and now they want to see what happens and maybe I can help them. So maybe it wasn't a problem. And I don't know, I was there and there was nothing around me. Like I couldn't sense anything. There was no bugs, no, no life, no there was no soil under my feet and I I don't know I was floating and I I was trying to keep my skirt down and it Uh, wouldn't cooperate but Fawn you're not making a lot of sense what where were you what happened space you were in space I was in space and it's terrifying there's nothing out there okay 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 um so There are three ways we can do this, and I just want to let you know. One, you can sit in the bathroom and cry, and I'll leave you alone, and that's fine. You can stay in there as long as you want. Two, we could just sit and talk about all of those words you just used, some of which don't make any sense, but also space, which, wow. Um, But again, like something very clearly big happened, and you know, I'm a good listener. I can, I can sit and listen. Um, I don't want to be a burden to you. I mm, thank you. I've had a very nice night, and you know, you're very sweet. Uh, the third version of this, which can be mixed in with literally anything else, is with your permission, I can try and turn off the panic. But that's a with your permission. If you just wanted to not be there for a second, All right. I can do that, I guess. I can do that myself if I wanted. I just... Oh, okay. No, good, good, good. That's a really good sign. Okay. Usually I'm much more composed than this. I'll admit, it's been... It's been a hell of a night for me, too. Um, okay. Do you want to... Um, are they sleeping? She kind of gestures to the other room. We could talk in the hall if you wanted. I mean, I'm not if you're worried about privacy but honestly like tensor i'm pretty positive here's everything in the apartment anyway oh okay so, i mean they're good they're they're nice they're quiet i don't know them usually but nice okay what so do you want to know i mean first off will you please come out of the bathroom and we'll just sit in the sit on the other bed and talk I think I'd rather sit in the hallway. Oh, um, okay, um, sure, if you want to, if you want to go sit out in the hall, give me a minute, and, like, waits for, for Fawn to wipe her face, and yeah, Fawn washes her face, uh, it's probably then that, probably much like Water Lily, you realize Fawn doesn't wear any makeup whatsoever, not a stitch, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, yeah. uh, dries her face, and She's like, I'm, I used one of your washcloths. I'm sorry. I... Don't be sorry. It's fine. It belongs to the hotel, but we'll replace it tomorrow. Okay. And um, she just kind of steps outside and puts her back against the wall and slides down. Okay. Like, um, checks Tensor again. <laughs> uh, when, you, when you duck around to see uh, Tensor, uh, they are sitting up uh, on the edge of the bed, um, like kind of stock still. Uh, and they're uh, they're they've sort of peeled off their their U fiber uh, down to the waist, um, and so you see uh, they have their uh, their binder on, uh, and um, those lights are still like just dancing around them, and they seem to be pretty transfixed by their own display. Um, Fawn, I might be just a 
second. Okay. Um, Scott, I don't know what I would need to try and judge if this is okay or not. Uh, like, you can give me an empathy roll. Of, yeah, I was like, there's the tremor of worry on this one. Do, do you want some help? I, I, I am a doctor or a medical professional. Uh, just give hover around for a second here, please. Okay. Uh, all right. So yeah, we're gonna go with uh, empathy. Um. Okay. Uh, would behavioral health apply? Yes. Okay, excellent. Um, can I look uh, while she's looking at this from like an emotional standpoint? Uh, uh, Fawn has diagnostic expert, so can she look at it from a purely medical standpoint? Sure thing. Uh, yeah, if you want to roll medicine. Yeah. Uh, right. uh, Rant, you have reached Fawn's room and knocked several times, and either she's not in there or she's not answering. Got it. Then I'll remember the cell phone thing <laughs> and shoot her a text. You all right, love? Uh, we will get to that text in a moment. Uh, Liberty Lad, are you still just listening at the corner? I think I'll probably just go to bed now. Actually, as you are as you are like putting your head to the pillow, there your phone buzzes. God damn it! <laughs> and it says Alexander on it. It's obviously Alexander calling. Uh, four successes Hello. on the empathy. <laughs> hey, uh, Anthony, uh, Alexander here. Sorry if I woke you, but there's a small situation I need you to check up on. Uh, Tensor, oh, we did not under know that Tensor was going to be uh, attending NovaCon. Um, and they're in attendance and quite inebriated from reports, and we need you to get eyes on Tensor and make and control the situation. They're right next door to me. I think they just got put to bed. Uh, can you go in and verify that for me? Thank you. <sighs> Phone clicks off. Okay, I open the. I put on some clothes and I open the door. Hey, hey, y'all! <laughs> Everyone's there, and then. I knock on Tensor's door. I was like, are they in here? Uh, wa knocking on uh, Water Lily's door? Yeah. Is it, is it Water Lily's room that's next to mine that Tensor's in? Uh, yeah, I mean, that yes. that is the room that you've okay. heard people go into. Yeah, okay. Uh, but water, And Water Lily's room is right next to yours. You're is not Tensor sure where Tensor's here? room because she didn't, she didn't sign up for a room block with you guys. I gotcha. They is Tensor in here? I heard them. Uh, Alexander's worried about them. Uh, yeah, like like calls to the door of the yeah. We're we're checking on it. Fawn, can you let him in? Sure. Uh, actually, um, like tries to figure out if like tensors. Yeah. You know, okay. Uh, so, what did you get on your? We'll, we'll resolve the rest of the rolls real quick. Sure. Um, Fawn, what did you get on your medicine roll? Five. Five. Uh, okay. So, coming at this from two different angles, both an emotional and a medical level. Um, no, Tensor's not okay. Um, th there's definitely some sort of like, as best as from what you can tell, uh, Water Lily, there's probably something along the lines of a dissociative uh, episode going on. Um, Water Lily, I'm uh, sorry, Fawn, um, you, with your diagnostic expert and with your role, and with the fact that you have recently like gone under training for chrysalis, uh, you don't think something is going on with them uh, from like a flux quantum transformation level. Like you think there's something going on with their abilities and their, their sort of their, their quantum signature, uh, some sort of flux manifestation. Um, since I deal a lot with uh, flux is, is this undergoing a change for them in a positive way or a negative way? Since, since they are not a member of the Terrigen and do not have the power of Chrysalis under them, which is the only known like technique other than like calming down for a couple of weeks to handle known to handle flux, you doubt it's positive. Mm. Unless they're a secret Terrigen member and no Chrysalis. Understood. <laughs> Is there some sort of power to take flux from others? No. Okay. Uh, you do get that text from Rant now. Uh, um, she kind of looks over at Water Lily and you see, it's like Fawn goes from, oh my God, 
like I'm beside myself into like a doctor mode. And that's where you can really see that mega composure come out as she just literally stops and rubs under her eyes and looks at Waterloo. She goes, this is bad. She's flexing right now. Uh, they open, are flex, flexing right now. Yes, they uh, open open the door for, for Liberty Lad right now, please. Uh, and he nods we'll, and goes and opens the door. We'll we'll get you know basically right right by tensor of the hi hi can you hear me? Hey. Uh, as soon as you get into their um, their sort of field of vision, uh, like right up against them, the, their their attention does sort of shift to you, uh, and then uh, those pinpricks of light get significantly brighter, uh, and you start to see burn marks start etching them into their flesh in like sort of spiraling patterns as cosmic light starts to burn in from from these pinpick warm wormholes that she's forming uh no 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 no. um and like starts to lock down her her own composure as well of the um i i need you to i need you to be calm i need you to be calm right now please and we're going to try and reinforce to try and help tense or not. Uh... Actually, great question, because Abby personally doesn't know that well. Scott, would composure help or hinder a disassociative state? Um, we'll say that it would help. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Um, Rant gets yeah. a text that's literally Water Lily's uh, room number, and it says problem at this room number, and all the uh, the next thing it says is fluxing. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll call uh, Alexander back and just put him on speaker so that he can, or on video chat so he can see what's going on. <laughs> okay, come, uh, come in, Liberty Lad. There, there's a problem here. Yeah, actually, she's like, she's when, like, Anthony you, Tensor needs help. Okay, so as you're t- as you're trying to get like video chat with Alexander, you notice your phone has got some sort of weird interference to it. It's not connecting. It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Oh, great. Um, yeah. No, thank you. Um, I. They're getting hurt. I'm gonna try and and stop this. Just please be here. And like, she sounds a little scared. Um, and is gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to to do the the emotional lockdown. The okay. Yeah, go ahead and make a roll for that. Uh, Rant, that room number is not too terribly far away from you right, right now. For right now, so you can get there within moments. Right, I run as fast as possible too. Also, when you get the text, you do make out the text. You get the room number, but it's kind of jarbled. Like it only partially went through. Hmm. It's very odd. Like you're strange symbols or just distorted text. It's it's, but you're kind of making oh that looks like a room number. Let me go there. Right, so running and considering what that means and think, being weirded out by it. Got it. All right, uh, how okay. long? Okay, sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, just waiting for the result of that roll. Sure, uh, uh, only two successes. Two successes, okay. Um, it has an effect, like you, you can tell like, um, the, the the patterns start to sort of diffuse a little bit more. The light starts to burn a little bit more intensely, but it is still going in effect. And she doesn't see, they don't seem to be uh, dropping out of the state that they're in. Um, Anthony, do you think I, I should turn this off? Do you, do you think I should turn off the powers? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I've never seen this before. I, uh, I, I, I'm worried. I, um, I don't want them getting hurt. Hey, Scott. Mm-hmm. Could I try to help lead Tensor through this? Um, yeah, sure. You can try and um, that would probably be either an empathy or a persuasion role mm-hmm. to sort of guide them through whatever's happening. Okay. Empathy. Let me take a look. What's my best one? persuasion okay clearly all right cool um so fawn pauses and she she looks over at water lily rants on his way um yeah about this time rant shows up can 
can I, will you let, I would like to help her if I could. Is that okay? What are you going to do? I'm going to try to lead her through this. They. Them, they. they I'm sorry. They through this. Yeah. Um, it is fairly apparent that she was assigned male at, uh, female at birth uh, with her clothes off, uh, but they do refer to themselves as they. Yeah. They, I'm so sorry. Just help. If you can stop whatever is happening from hurting themselves, then please help. She nods. Um, and Fawn goes and kneels in front of them and kind of puts her hands out and uh, takes, uh, puts them on top of Tenzer's hands. And she starts speaking in a very calming voice. And um, with uh, it's Fawn's going to try to lead them through this. Uh, okay. You know, she, Fawn, she, Fawn understands that they don't understand how to use chrysalis. Um, Fawn is trained in chrysalis, um, but is basically going to talk them through it. Okay. Not uh, describe, not teaching them how to crystallize, but basically getting them through enough so they can get through it. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Like I said, it's persuasion or an empathy role. Awesome. Uh, she's going to do an uh, she's going to do a persuasion role with. Uh, I was going to use her composure, um, sure. uh, and her mega composure, basically being this calming influence. Sure. Sounds um, good. And I would, if you guys don't mind, I would like to use uh, two of the um, momentum. Momentum. Go for it. You could also push your own powers sure. to help. Oh, wanted. that's right. I could. Yeah, I, I would like to push my okay. powers. Pushing, so uh, you're going to give so, yourself more. Making yeah, like I said, Rant, you're, you're there. I'm assuming like you, you can get let in fairly easily. Um, as you are getting uh, uh, there, uh, a fairly sizable crowd of people starts coming up from like the elevator area uh, behind you and starts heading down this uh, this part of the hotel uh, seemingly very fairly fairly inebriated or otherwise uh, uh, adulterated baselines start coming down the hallway right so I'm gonna immediately go into crowd control and be like hey everyone go that way and say it with <laughs> emphasis and power okay <laughs> yeah uh, Shouldn't be a problem. They're drunk. They're drunk, and you're a nova with with so mega socials. Uh, yeah, you were able to like mind whammy them into not being anywhere near here. Got it. Um, how do I push again? I'm so sorry. Okay, so what you do is you, uh, you first of all you take a point of flux. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Got it. Uh, and then you spend quantum up to your quantum rating to build a dice pool. I will spend four. Okay, and then you can take additional flux to get enhancement on that die, dice pool. I will spend an additional point of flux. Okay, so you're going to roll four dice with one enhancement. Yes, can do. All right, dice roller. Take away some dice, roll. Eight, two, four, two. Okay, so I only got one. Seven. Okay, so you have two successes. So that means you have two things you can pump into uh, probably your mega... So, mega um, Composure. Either mega composure, or you can put it into mega presence, or so would, because presence would probably be more appropriate. Okay, uh, then I'll do this. Then I will push and get some mega presence. So you get uh, two dots of mega presence. Yeah, you can get two dots of mega presence if you like. Sounds great. Then I will do that. Um, then I roll presence three, medicine, uh, not medicine, uh, persuasion. persuasion three. So I'm rolling mm -hmm. six dice. And your scale is, your leadership scale is three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have eight, eight, nine, and the rest are twos and ones. So I have okay. three successes plus, I guess, my two from scale. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have, um, yeah, you definitely, you have two from scale uh, because uh, they do have some, they do have some scale of their own. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, you are able to, Using sort of like the basic techniques and terminology that you understand about chrysalis, but going back to your own tra training uh, with uh, with shrapnel uh, that you had recently, um, just sort of talk them through what's going on. Uh, you know, you're hoping that it penetrates uh, their their uh, you know their dissoci dissociation, um, and eventually you guide them into a place where 
they're not okay. They're still in what appears to be sort of a quantum instability, but they're not hurting themselves and it's more like they're asleep. Okay. She kind of comes back from it and kind of looks at everyone else. She's not out of the flux, but they are not out of the flux, but they are resting. What did you do? What happened? I just talked them through it. Um, and like, uh, yeah, I will say for the two Project Utopia members, um, Brant, you obviously know exactly what she was talking about. Right. Um, but for the two Project Utopia members, uh, Fawn was talking about some very alien philosophy concepts uh that you know definitely have the terrigen you know uh, uh smell about them um but at a core level something about it makes sense to you like it's not no, it, it is nothing that utopia has ever taught you about like the channeling of power or you know the the, the you know the accepting of flux they have never taught you anything about it like that at all but just hearing the words coming out of Juan's mouth and seeing it work on your, your teammate, something about it just seems to, to work and make sense on an inherent level. How much sanity points do I really? <laughs> Nope, none, none of those. Interpret um, I will. I will. Uh, <laughs> I hear the call of Alea. Um, <laughs> I will uh, get my uh, phone out and I will say, I need to make a phone call and I'll leave the room and call uh, Alexander to give him. Oh, I'll leave the uh, that the area of that disruption. Okay, sure. And, yeah, and after I'll, just or or to, I'll text him and yeah. let him know. So yeah, well, let's 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 play that out. Let's see how that conversation goes. Yeah, you leave oh, okay. the room and I'll, uh, you call. You know, you have to you only have to walk a little way from the room to to sort of clear the interference. I'll go back into my room then. Okay. Yeah, you do. Oh, uh, and yeah, it's like um, go for Alexander. Yeah, it seems that tensor was. Um, they were they had a lot of flux, you know, r mm. going on, and that that uh uh the um fawn one of the uh, legacy members kind of talked them through it uh with some really strange kind of concepts about did fawn fawn mention did fawn mention chrysalis? She never think... called it that. Okay, I'll just explain to Alexander what was so lovely explained to me, and then this happened. <laughs> um interesting is tensor in which room is tensor in right now i give him the room number all right uh i a discreet retrieval team will be coming collect them all if right. they are in danger to themselves or others uh they i mean they're they fine now just be aware that there are two legacy members in there that might not be too happy um, then i will suggest that you convince them that they that to not cause a cause a scene <sighs> Tensor is Fine. part of the team tomorrow and is a part of the Utopia Collective, and we need to make sure they are okay and well All managed. Right. We do not know how long the state will last. Yeah. Okay. I hang up. I go back in. I'll say. Um. So we'll have there'll there'll be some a medical team here to take care of them. That's on their way. Good. She. They need the help. Okay. Um Wow. <laughs> How did you know to do that? It's just one of the things the Terrigen teaches. Mm hmm Um It makes <sighs> it a positive experience rather than a negative one. I Wow. Okay. Noted. Um, Look, I know, I know that all of what the Terrigen are, are perceived to be by the media, even some of what we say sometimes and do sometimes, looks bad, horrible even. But trust me, there's a core of us that believe in helping all Novas be the best we can be. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes we strive and we miss, but that's the goal of it. 
look, mm -hmm. one, one of the things we got, you know, one of the things we try and do is, is, is help. And if you'd like at any point to just talk about what Taras is, there's an open invitation for you to meet with Divis Mall and just uh, hear what he's got to say. Oh, I know, I know, I know. We'll take it under consideration, but um, I think it's probably best if you're not here when the medical team shows up, just so that there's no, um, you know, misunderstandings. Of course. Yes. Um, okay. Um, all right. I, thank you for your help. It's been, I, it basically looks at Ranthony. I appreciate everything you're trying to say right now. I don't think I can really give you. I can't give you any more tonight on that subject at all. I, I need to take care of my teammate. Of course. We, we wouldn't expect you to, to give anything else on it right now. Just if you want to, the invitation's there. And I guarantee your safety. As do I. I don't care who it is. I'd protect you because I trust you and I believe in you. That's That's very kind. Thank you. Um, um, I need a quick empathy roll from everyone real quick. Okay. I'll let you know that this is a fairly high difficulty. Okay. Uh, empathy, uh, burr, 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 what's my, the cunning would probably cunning. be the best, uh, the best, yeah, um, and, okay. and don't forget your, uh, your enhancement from your mega senses, essentially. Yes. Um, I think those are all just enhancements. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is it scent based? No. Okay. Cool. So it's just a one enhancement. <laughs> one. Okay. So three, three, five. Uh, Rerolling my ten. Nope. Sec. <laughs> just um, a failure, not a. Okay. That does have the momentum. Yep. I rolled two. And I have two enhancement, one from Mega Cunning and one from My Senses. Noted. Um, what about everybody else? Uh, got one success. Yeah, no. Um, I've got three with a Mega Cunning enhancement additional. So four. Four. None of you hit the difficulty. Got it. Uh, proceed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, you guys do Fawn and Rant leave. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, when... They say they're basically no longer welcome. Bond's yeah. not going to fight them on it. Yeah, you guys head back, um, and you're heading you're heading back to the uh, uh, to the elevators, and quickly uh, coming passing by you, not really paying too much attention to you. Um, there's two plain clothes people, but they obviously have a build and demeanor that is more professional. They and they have earpieces in it now, and they're like like quickly jogging past you and they and you hear them say we're securing the room now um as fawn goes to leave she uh kind of she hugs water lily and she pauses in front of liberty lad and she kind of looks down and then looks back up at him and says i'm glad that I got to see a different side of you. I'm like a dodecahedron as he smiles and gives her a thumbs up. I'm just happy to see you caring about people. Genuinely. I do. I do. Thank you. And Fawn will give him a hug. Uh, probably like a glomp like Fawn does. You probably get like nudged by an antler in her excitement. Yeah, he's trying to avoid the antlers. Like, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Not Pat the face, on the back. Not the face, not the face. Uh, <laughs> Fawn grins and then kind of like looks at Rhea and then back at them. And she, uh, she says, be careful that the state that they are in could take some time. But with some guidance, they should make it through just fine. I, I know that everyone's going to make sure that they get all the care that they need. I, I, again... I definitely appreciate your help in this situation. Just mm -hmm. deep breath. And like remembering that Fawn came in crying, just oh, yeah. sort of like there's a pause of the, just deep breath. You're going to be okay too, okay? Mm. 
you did really good. Thank you. Good hey, Grant. Yeah. Can we go to the roof? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go. All right, so the two of you head up to the roof. Uh, you pass that security team. Um, they come in uh, to the room uh, and, you know, basically start attending to and, uh, you know, securing uh, Tensor. Um, you know, they, they take, check, check their vitals, uh, uh, check the, the injuries that were, were done. This is a, the med, med tech goes, all right, I think they're stable. Um, we can get them out of here without too much problems. Uh, it looks to the two of you. Thank you for keeping the situation under control. Sure. Um, Very welcome. When can we when can we hear more? When can we check in on them? Uh, well, we're taking them back to the tower with the medical facilities. Uh, you can check in with them at any time uh, back there. Okay, thank you. Uh, and yeah, they basically they basically put her, put them in a wheelchair uh, and get them out the door. Yep. Okay. Um, I like sh I like dust off my pants and say, "All right, I'm going to bed." And I turn off my phone. And I go to bed. <laughs> Uh, there, there's going to be that that mild pause of the Anthony. Um, have you ever seen anything like that happen before? No, I haven't. I need to research this when I have gotten some rest. Um, it, hmm. if I come and like, is it okay if I if I knock on the door if I need you? Yeah, that's fine. Just I'll give I'll give Water Lily an extra room key. Thanks. Like it's very it's clear that like she's not sure how to ask for, hey, can I emotionally connect you? So she's sort of just like feeling that that area out of the look, I I don't really know if anything else weird happens in the night. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. I Yeah, no problem. Thanks for everything you did, okay? You too. Get some rest. Okay. I've been trying to. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, you, you should know better that you can't go to sleep at a reasonable hour at a con. Come on. I'd like to use uh, Quietus One so everyone shuts the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah, you guys are able to get your way up onto the roof. Um, there's a... It, it's it's actually... A, it is accessible because there are like photo shoots that get go on up there. Uh, but there's nothing going on right now. So it's actually not a big deal for you to get up there. Um, and, you know, you are, you see the the city lights, um, you know, you can't really see the stars because it's in the middle of New York, uh, but it is higher up and quieter than anywhere else in this convention. Juan releases a breath and finds a, basically walks out into like the center of the roof, kind of looking around. Been an intense day, eh? Yeah. I have. Are you okay? I'm fine, yeah. It's been, you know, a, a mix of ups and downs, but mostly ups for me. I can't say the same for you, though. I'm fine, really. I just needed some time to process. Fun. You have fairly uh, impressive mental defenses. Uh, uh, yes, I do. There is not much that gets by you. Uh, and that is the only reason that I am telling you this, because an incredibly powerful ability was used on all of you. Um, as you're sort of thinking back and processing, you realize that there is something missing. You've forgotten something. You don't know what it is. There's no context for what it was, but you feel a hole in your mind. Something that was there is no longer in your memory. Uh, Fawn pauses and then looks at Rant. Rant, you have this. This does not come across you at all. Right, right. There's someone took something from me. What, she kind of looks around and touches a hand to her head. No, I, I know. When, pe when people try to get into my head, I know I can feel it. I can shut them out. I can shut them down. 
but someone got in. Someone took something and I don't know what it is. I can't remember, but I can feel it. It's like feeling the place around where something should be and it's not there. She gets at her phone and texts Water Lily and it says, who messed with our heads? Or she said, who messed with my head? Who got in? What did they take? Get yeah, so Waterly, alone in your room, you get this text from Fawn. I don't know what you're talking about. What happened? Something's missing. There is a memory that should be here that is not. I can feel the spot where it should be. When? Question mark. Some, probably something recent. That's why I can feel that its presence not there. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I don't remember anybody using any powers on us tonight. Do you feel it? Uh, great question. If I study that, do I feel anything? You don't feel anything okay. in particular. Um, although, give me... Hold on. Let me look at the character sheet because this is a... Give me an integrity roll. Sure. Yeah, I was about to say uh, that I do have. and and probably I'm gonna I'm gonna make it be intellect. Sure. That's just for Water Lily. Yeah, she's the only one having this conversation. Oh, I understand. Uh, does the iron will apply or no? No. All right. So integrity and intellect. Uh, there's going to be a one point complication on this one. Sure. With a misleading fact. Oh, goody. Okay. Use some momentum. Oh, yeah. We use the momentum. Uh, how much is Me remaining? Two. Five. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. well, no, sorry. <laughs> wait, what? I think we're at four right now. Okay. Uh, I was about to say. You, yeah, we should be at least four, if not six. So some because of you guys have failed rolls. Yeah, there were a couple of failed oh, okay. rolls. Cool. Yeah, Let's say was, there's four. Yeah, I was like, we're, You're we're welcome. near the. <laughs> uh, we're near the end. Do people want me to like, like juice this yeah. and see what we get? Go for it. Juice it. Broke. All right, then. Uh, let's. Uh, I'll run off with three of them then. Go for it. Cool, cool. Roll, 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 roll. Okay, nice. And re-roll for ten. Okay. That is six successes. Okay, that's enough to hit the difficulty and buy off the complication. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing that comes to mind Thank you, uh, is someone got into your head recently uh, with uh, and at the UN, um, but you're also like thinking through like everything that you can think of. And you remember a conversation uh, from a couple of weeks ago of right before when you guys went to Libya. Uh, when Tensor was uh, was like manicking out about the in, about the the data that she had intercepted, okay. and you remember there was some some back and forth about whether uh, so they had some, any technical ability, um, and you know they were able to do something. And you remember they said there was something wrong with the information, and. You're just now, like in your memory, hearing the capital letter I on the word information. Um, okay. The response that comes back is, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I think I know what you mean, but I don't know the answer yet but I'm going to look. Will you let me know? If I can, of course. I don't like when people are in my head. My head is my own. Very, very much agreed exclamation point. And I and also didn't go in anyone else's head. I don't do that. I can't do that. Must be nice, dot, dot, dot. And we will end uh, Water Lily 
as you're you're contemplating that and as you're you're thinking about this with the exception of that kid you have never heard of any nova having anything like telepathy or mental manipulation like direct memory or mental manipulation you've never heard of any nova that has that ability and that's where we'll end it this week Tune in next time to see where things go from here on Aberrant Atomic Youth. Don't forget to follow the characters on Twitter to see more of the story, and follow Simulacra RPGs for updates on the show and the channel. If you'd like to support the show, you can subscribe to our YouTube and Twitch channels at Simulacra TV, but the best way is to go to patreon.com slash Simulacra Studios and become a patron. A big thanks to our $5 and up patrons. You keep the story going, and we couldn't do it without you. Until next time, remember, your legacy is our future.